This is an overview of the before and after image comparison widget by Unlimited Elements. Let's get started. To get started, drag the before after widget into your element or column. What this widget does, it's a before and after comparison between two images. On, in the middle, you'll have a slider over here, which you can use your mouse or your touch finger on a mobile device to move and switch between the different modes of the image comparison. Let's check out the settings over here. So first of all, we're going to change the before and the after image. So this is a great example for a way to use this. For example, you've done some Photoshop on an image, or maybe you're going to show some um, black teeth and then you want to show that the dentist took care of the teeth and you'll show the uh, after version of the teeth or pimple removal and all that kind of stuff anyway so this, these are the only settings that we have in the general tab let's jump into the style tab and actually mostly uh, all of these settings are talking about the middle slider over here so slider width we can change the width of the middle slider over here and to whatever width we like. Slider background, which is the background of this line over here. So you can uh, make it any color you like. For example, if you have a white image, maybe you'll want it to be black. Handle width is the width of the handle over here in the middle. So we can make that any proportion we want. Also the hit, the width and also the height, we can change to whatever we want. And we can add a background color to this handle over here. If you don't want it to be transparent, then you can add a background color. We have an option to take off the border if we don't like the border, or and we can turn it on and change the border width to whatever width we want. Of course, you can change the border color to any color you want, and we can round this handle to make it look rounded. So actually, you can change anything you want about this middle slider and handle over here. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and I'm going to see you in the next video.